going on YouTube? It's your boy Lamont Tyson, host of the Life Games channel. And I'm just sitting here looking sexy as hell in my Powers of Pain t-shirt. Old school WWF fans know what we're talking about. And today's video is about my second week of truck driving school at Future Truckers of America. But first, let me just say this. If you saw my week one video, you know I got out of character and used some profanity. Well, let me just tell y'all. If you're on this station looking for some more profanity, you might as well keep on trucking. <laughs> See what I did there? My coach, my training coach, life coach, man, he chewed me out. He told me I ain't even sound right using profanity. So I'm going back to my Will Smith cuss words and a platform that's PG. I even got the evil eye for my wife and subscribers ain't worth all that. So if you want to sit here and hear some sailor cuss words, this ain't going to be your channel. But if you want to get a little bit of in-depth information of what's going on in the trucking industry and truck driving school, you came to the right place. So, Future Truckers of America week number two, we got out of the classroom and got in on the yard and the yard looks like this. And so when we get out on the yard in week two, what are we doing? We're overviewing the truck, going through pre-trip inspection. Uh, we do some observations riding on the truck. And you get to know the instructors that are out there helping you out. Um, I rode with Mr. Tim, and I also rode with a guy they call Big D. And let me tell you guys something. The one thing that can really separate you in any field, or in any profession, or in any school, is instructors that really care about the industry they're teaching about, or they really care about you as a student, or if you're lucky, you get them that care about both. And guys, these guys care enough about both that they give you personal stories of what they have encountered in trucking. They try to guide you. They try to help you find the correct place to go and work at. And they give you insightful tips, and they make it fun. So um, shout out to Big D and Mr. Tim. The only problem I got with them is they both are God-loving Duke fans. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for that, man, I, I could go and have me some Kool-Aid with these guys, but... Beyond that, they will teach you how to drive a truck, and Future Truck of America is all about um, double clutching. You know, a lot of professional drivers right now, when they're driving their trucks, they float the gears, which means that they don't use the clutch. They just go from gear to gear to gear without using the clutch. Um, you won't graduate Future Truckers of America unless you learn how to double clutch. Double clutching is good because it saves wear and tear on the engine, but ultimately, if you're a smart person, you like to save money like I know we all do, it'll save you money in the long run on fuel. And so, this whole entire week, we've been in the yard going over um, pre-trip inspection, learning everything on the outside of the truck, learning the engine of the truck, and riding learning how to shift those gears, and watching other people graduate, cheering them on, and really learning what it is we need to know about the industry we're getting ready to get into. And from that point, it leads me to this, and everybody, when you get in truck driving school, or school in general, I don't care what school you're going to, you don't have a teacher's pet in your class. Some teacher's pets are very entertaining and insightful and helpful, and some are disruptive. So all I'm saying, guys, is, if you have a teacher's pet in your class and he's causing a melee in the classroom, you know, pull him to the side, tell him he's keeping you from learning, and give him the rock's elbow. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Don't do that. Pull him to the side and just say, hey, look, man, can you chill out? I'm having a problem learning because we've had a teacher's pet in our class. Now, he's okay. You know, he's all right. And if that doesn't work by talking to him, so you don't want to go and cause a confrontation, don't be afraid to go to your instructor. You know, your, it's your instructor's job to make sure that everything's in place so that you can learn properly in your class. And so, guys, that's it for this week. 
Um, on top of what we learned in the yard about the pre-trip and the outside of the truck, we also learned about how to protect ourselves. Um, Big D taught us a whole lot about uh, proper protection, different things you can use to protect yourself on the yard when you're going out to the um, different truck stops. And really, really understanding that when you're driving something that big, um, most of the time if there's an accident, you're going to be the one that's going to hurt someone versus them hurting you. And so guys, having said that, that is week two, Future Truckers of America. You're out in the yard doing pre-trip inspections, you're learning the truck, you're getting in the truck riding, doing some observations, and learning about the industry. Don't forget to like that video, comment and subscribe, go out there and get yourself a life game, and I'm about to run up here and take my hazmat test. I'll keep it...